All right, so that is Sounds from Beyond by Red Room Audio. Now, it is 100% these sounds. There are no effects. I probably could have mixed it a little bit volume-wise, but basically as bare bones as possible. It's just a little just a little intro, show you kind of what the library is geared towards. Sounds from Beyond, alien sounds, baby. At the end, there is a reverb that turns on to fade things out, you know, nicely. That's the only effect. And it just, it starts with zero and it mixes on to 100% for a nice, like, fade out thing. If we, if we don't have this... Yeah, it just stops. It's not as cool, right? So I have this here to, to sort of deal with that. So there are, how many are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine patches that you get. And these are these are them. You have collisions. These are like your, your impacts. In this case, I went for a repeating stinger kind of a thing. Kind of started out with sort of this vibe of like the earth being visited by aliens and then some sort of terror morphing happens and you know that's sort of, sort of my vision so these are the collisions and they sound like this there are a huge variety of collisions and there's quite a few sounds in here that make more sense to use as an imported bit like i did right here for that you can actually go to the folder and you can just get them directly. So they're all available if you'd rather work with them as samples rather than through the GUI that's available to you. But here you get a little preview. You can sort of visually see what the sound looks like, which can sometimes be helpful. You've got your ability to add LFOs, uh, modulating sources, those sorts of things. And then the effect rack, uh, which is in here, part of the wrapper that a lot of Red Room Audio stuff supports. So pretty cool, um, very handy. So I just went through, picked one that I thought sounded cool and I wound up on this, this war thing. Shot of war, I liked the verb, the high end verb on it. And if I were to mix this a little more, I'd definitely make it, at least on the high end, probably band split it and make the high end just super freaking wide. But yeah, so here's just a few more of those. So pretty cool. Those are your collisions. Very, very nice. Some, you can never have enough impact sounds, right? Uh, after this, we are on implosions. Now implosions, the whole notion of these is they are backwards. Well, in this case, the way the sample engine's been rendered, they're running backwards. Uh, but you could click to you know undo that. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of these. Uh, you can go through and audition them like so, but I find when working with it that playing the MIDI note so that everything lines up correctly is kind of a tricky business to get right. So instead, I went ahead and just, you know, you grabbed the audio samples and reversed it myself. And I went with this temporal leak. And then, you know, then we have our, our hit right there at the end. So on, so forth. So anyways, that's what's going on here. I went through here and auditioned it and I found the one that I liked and I went and looked for it. You can see the names right here and you can actually favorite them with this little like fire icon if you so desire. So that is the uh, implosions. Very cool. Just sort of reversals. Uh, while I'm here, I want to mention there's 10 gigabytes of this stuff. So if you're looking for to just fill out a library, uh, this one might fill in some holes you might be missing from some other libraries. So our next one is the landings. And I decided to use this as the intro because, you know, you're going to have a landing. You might as well start with that. So there's a bunch of these.
Yeah. There, there are aliens landing. So pretty cool, I went ahead and used this one. And you know, everything else then hits after that. From here, we've got ourselves the rumbles. These are like low end, uh, mostly things, things that, you know, rumble in the background. Yeah. These are mood setters. These are extremely useful to have. If you don't have a library with them, uh, they're worth. It's worth getting one. Here's, you know, grab this one. These like things that go on in the low end can be super great for setting moods. So I, in this case, picked this one. Oh, the Cyborn, there you go. This is that the one I, the last one I played. Uh, and it actually layers super nicely with the low end thing over here. Yeah, it's, it's just a good combo. So these are, are great layer elements. Uh, finally, we've got ourselves the movements. Now the movements are pretty cool. These are going to be, since I only wanted to use things that were in the library to make this, uh, this was extremely useful as a tool. So it's just, just a bunch of you know, motions, arpeggiations. And you can retune them with these keys on the side. And I actually do that here. I've got several selected. So up here at the top are the ones that I picked. And then this is the note that they're playing. And then over here, I have them change notes. And then we go back to that low note. Like so. So that's movements. Uh, movements, super handy. Really good for motivating something happening. And they work so that you could just hit multiple of them at a time and away they go. So that is the movements. We have the dreamscapes. These, now these next ones are atmospheres, the blue. So blacks, if you didn't realize, are, are kind of like, a, like percussion effect kind of things. Uh, this one's actual tonal movement things. Honestly, voices kind of fits that category as well, but it's, it's not got movement. So I decided to separate it visually. Uh, but these are all kind of like atmospheres and they just have different names because they have different sort of vibes to them. So you've got your dreamscapes. Originally, I had a lot of these, but honestly, they work best when you have it when you're looking to like set like a room tone or something. At the end, these come up so that you can, you know, experience the atmosphere they bring. So in this case, I went with this one. And again, the green allows you to retune it. So very handy. They are pretty dang long. We have our evolutions, kind of a similar uh, vibe, or at least from a uh, writing perspective, I tend to treat them as a similar kind of vibe. So yeah, pretty cool. And I chose this one. So typically a few will work together, but much more than like two or three, and they tend to just get in each other's way, uh, which, you know, just be aware when you're doing that. Interference, I did not use. Uh, it's got a sort of a specific job. It sounds like interference.
So this one, if you're writing a, a part and you want some sort of interference or a message or a transmission or something is on the screen, this is what you're gonna grab. I just didn't find a spot for it in what I was doing. But there are cool things in there. So those are the transmissions. And then finally, or the interference, I should say. And then we have the voices. Now the voices is the patch in here that is like key based. So before you could retune existing loops, this one, you're able to actually pick different sound sources and have them do things. So that's the one I went with, just like the default one. It sounds great. Let's go for astronauts here. Let's pick rising galaxies, just see a few of them. Here is Run the Future. Um, let's go down to the bottom, let's see where our last one is, Vision Pad. So there you go, those are the pads, they're sort of your tonals or not pads, but they call them voices, your, your tonal patches, things that you can write chords with and sort of sculpt a little bit more using harmony. So with this, I, I went for a low layer. There are quite a few good ones in there for, for this. There's a lot of great variety. Yeah, so all together, I thought about continuing on after that it, because there's just a lot of room, the evolutions, you could move to different soundscapes. But anyways, that is Sounds From Beyond. If you need something that has to do with aliens, space, if you're writing some music where you want to establish that you're somewhere, this has some extremely strong pulls towards those vibes. Um, and everyone who was in the room when I was writing it was like, oh, that, that sounds like space. <laughs> no question about it. So if you have any questions about uh, any of the features, maybe something I didn't cover, feel free to drop them down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.